And it wasn't just women's lib that was rocking the family boat. Who were the gay people at the centre of popular culture in the 1970s? I can only think of two. Um, Larry Grayson and John Inman. <laughs> and whilst they were certainly camp, and maybe a bit naughty, they didn't feel like they could destabilize a family. Oh, it's the mass stranger. Take my body, but leave my jewels alone. <laughs> But through the 70s, a much more assertive gay voice hit the streets. To go with the marches, there was a manifesto. The first Gay Liberation Front statement was published in 1971. And it boldly stated that the oppression of gay people starts in the most basic unit of society, the family. And it was inside family homes that gay identity really erupted. Ken Lee is 52. He grew up with his mum and dad and two brothers in Hartlepool, where his parents ran a pub. When he was 19, he got into a conversation with his mum that would reveal his secret life. When my mum had something in her, her teeth, it was like a bulldog with a, a baby in her mouth. Yeah. Um, wouldn't let go. Absolutely not. And, oh, there was something more to that sigh. Said, no, there wasn't anything more to that sigh. Oh, yes, there was definitely something more to that sigh. No, there wasn't anything to the sigh. Come on, what's wrong with you? There's something to that sigh. No, there was nothing wrong with the sigh. If there was anything wrong, it's my business. Oh, so there was something, was it? So, what is it? I said, look, it's my business. If it's your business, it's also our business. So I want to know what it was. And just in the heat of the, of the moment there, with being tired and everything, I just said, oh, for Christ's sake, I'm gay. And I mean, like, what do you mean you're gay? Mum, I prefer to sleep with men than with women. Immediate family, the, of, a, of the old school, and, you know, it didn't happen. And if it did happen, it was kept under the carpet. What would our customers think if they knew what, what was going on, what you got up to? I said, so your customers are more important than your son, are you? Yes, they bloody well are. They're our livelihood, they're our bread and butter. I said, well, in that case, it's best if I wasn't around then. It never did bother me. The only thing that I had to try and do was make sure that I was keeping the peace on both sides. I wasn't agreeing or disagreeing with parents because if I disagreed with them, there could have been a little bit more alienation. When, when did you tell your parents? Yesterday, in fact. And what was their reaction, precisely? Their reaction at first was to look in an encyclopedia to see exactly what the word meant because they didn't even know. And then when they looked it up, I, ra I rung them this morning because I couldn't go home. And they said, never come here again. Ken left the family home. It took years for his mum and dad to accept that he was gay. But they did, sort of. It was whenever there was anything going wrong in my life, it was, do you not think that if you changed your ways, then, you know, sort of, things would be better? <laughs> if you got married and settled down, I said, if I got married and settled down, I'd be screwing up quite a few people's lives, not just my own, so I'm fine as I am, thank you very much. 